leading to increased entry of I complement and cells into the tissues. Okay, then we have interleukin-6. It is the source of cytokine, many cells, including monocytes and macrophages. Major functions, anemia of inflammation, hepcidin, production, proliferation of B and T cells, acute phase reactants, induces natural protease inhibitor, uh, promotes erosion, induces elevated CRP. Okay. So we have HLA-associated rheumatic disease. Okay, HLA type B27 associated condition, uh, ankylosing spondylitis, REA, -E -E then erosive arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, axial comments, relative risk is 20 times for developing AS and REA. Okay, then DR4 and DR1 is the rheumatoid arthritis. In rheumatoid arthritis, relative risk is 2 to 10 times found in 93% of patients. Okay, then DR3, associated conditions, uh, SS and SLE. Okay, comments, uh, DR3 is associated with the production of anti rho SS A and anti la S what we mean cell B cells. They produce the antibodies after activation by a specific antigen. And B cell co receptor additional signals provided by CD4 T helper cells. Then cytotoxic T cell, CD8 cell directs the cytotoxicity of target cells at sites of infection and kills via lytic granules and fast L fast interaction recognize specific antigen and mhc1 activates and helps other types of cells carry out immune uh, immune defense activates macrophages help b cells release cytokines regulatory t cell subset of cd4 cells suppresses activation of naive autoreactive t cells okay now moving on to the flow chart here we have a differential diagnosis of the common presentation Okay, so joint pain, it could be articular and non-articular. So articular, it could be inflammatory or degenerative. Inflammatory, seropositive, seronegative, crystal, infective, and septic. So seropositive, we have uh, rheumatoid arthritis, SLE, scleroderma, uh, dermatomyositis, polymyositis, SS, uh, I think... Uh, can anybody check what is the SS full form for SS? Mm -hmm. Cleroderma, I guess, yeah. Sjogren syndrome. Sjogren syndrome, okay. Then we have a uh, zero negative that is symmetrical and asymmetrical. Okay, so AS is ankylosing spondylitis. Okay, EA is the erosive arthritis. Then we have asymmetrical conditions, which is REA. Yeah, Let me check R E. Arthritis. Yeah, uh, it's a reactive arthritis, R E A. And PSA, I think it's psoriatic arthritis. Yeah, psoriatic arthritis. Okay, then we have the crystal uh yeah, uh it's gout, pseudo gout, and hydroxyapatite. Okay, infectious and septic causes, gonococcal, non-gonococcal, Lyme disease, viral, mycobacteria, and fungal. Okay, then degenerative causes are primary and secondary. That is osteoarthritis, metabolic, hemophilic, neuropathic, and trauma. Then uh, the non-articular causes, they are uh, further divided into localized and generalized. Localized are the bursitis, tendinitis, capsulitis, muscle sprain, and generalized PMR, fibromyalgia, myofascial pain syndrome. Okay, causes of joint pain. Software tissue, this is the mnemonic for the joint pain, software tissue, sepsis, uh, O for osteoarthritis, fracture, tendon muscle, epiphyseal, referred, tumor, ischemia, seropositive arthritis, seronegative arthritis, urate, gout, and other crystal, extra articular rheumatism, PMR, and fibromyalgia. Okay, then we have differential uh, diagnosis of acute monoarthritis. Non-inflammatory and inflammatory. Okay, non-inflammatory are heme arthrosis, internal derangement, loose body, and torn meniscus. Inflammatory, uh, crystal-induced and infectious. infectious. Monosodium urate, uh, CPPD, 
pseudo gout and hydroxy appetite. Okay, then infectious, gonococcal, non gonococcal, myobacterial, and fungal. Okay, the patterns of joints involvement. The sidebar. Okay, symmetrical versus asymmetrical. Go to four joint versus polyarticular that is greater than five joints and axial and peripheral. So a differential diagnosis of uh, oligoarthritis and polyarthritis, there's acute in the chronic phase. So acute phase is less than six weeks, uh, post-viral infection. The causes include post-viral infection, parvovirus, B19, HIV, post-bacterial infection, a GC and non-GC, rheumatic uh, fever, crystal induced, other sarcoidosis, Lyme disease, very early rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, the chronic condition uh, has zero positive, zero negative, and degenerative. Zero positive RA, SLE, scleroderma, DM, and PM. Zero negative are AS, that is ankylosing spondylitis, erosive arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, reactive arthritis, crystal. That is polyarticular gout, okay. And the degenerative conditions are osteoarthritis. Okay, symptoms of inflammatory arthritis versus degenerative arthritis. Inflammatory pain at rest, relief with activity. Morning stiffness greater than one hour. Cardinal signs, warm, swelling, erythema, tenderness, loss of function. Malignant, uh, sorry, ma malalignment, deformity is the latest finding. Extraarticular manifestation and nighttime awakening due to pain. Degenerative pain with motion, relief by rest. Okay, and morning uh, stiffness less than one hour, joint instability, buckling, gelling, bone, bony enlargement, malalignment, deformity, late finding, evening, end of the day, end of day pain. Okay, then zero positive and zero negative rheumatic uh, disease. Demographic for seropositive, more, uh, females are more affected than male. While seronegative, male are more affected in female, uh, than female. Okay, peripheral arthritis, symmetrical, small, PIP, MCP, medium joint, wrist, knee, ankle, elbow, common, distal interphalangeal, less involved. Okay, then uh, in the seronegative, it is asymmetrical, usually larger joints. Lower extremities, exception for psoriatic arthritis, uh, distal interphalangeal joint in psoriatic arthritis, ductilitis, sausage digit. Okay, then pelvic and axial disease uh, in seropositive, no, except for C-spine. In seronegative, yes. And then antithitis, uh, no. And seronegative, it is, uh, yeah, it is present. Then extraarticular nodules, vasculitis, HECA, Raynaud's phenomena, rashes, internal organ involvement, lung, cardiac, entrapment, neuropathy, that is carpal tunnel syndrome, seronegative, iritis, anterior uveitis, oral ulcers, gastrointestinal, dermatological, psoriasis, nail pitting, onycholysis, or keratoderma, genital urinary inflammation. Okay, antithesitis, it is inflammation of tendon or ligament at the site of attachment. Okay, let me go back and see the leftover sidebars. Okay, the presence of synovitis often indicates articular as opposed to a non-articular joint pain. Fusion, warm and stress pain. Passive movement of the joint towards range plus a little bit further. Okay, monitoring CRP versus ESR. CRP is more sensitive for inflammation than ESR. CRP responds more quickly to changes in the clinical situation than ESR. False negative and false positive results are common with ESR. ESR is increased by renal disease, female sex, older age, pregnancy, and other chronic disease such as DM, multiple myeloma, and congestive heart failure. ESR can be used at detecting the low-grade bone and joint infections and monitoring disease activity in CTDs, such as SLE, PMR, joint cell arthritis, do not order ESR for acute inflammation. Okay, synovial fluid analysis. Synovial fluid is an ultrafiltrate of plasma plus hyaluronic acid. It lubricates the joint surfaces and nourishes the articular cartilage. 
indication diagnostic to clarify the cause of inflammation and to analyze the fluid for culture, crystal, and cell count to differentiate between the inflammatory versus degenerative septic versus crystal induced versus uh, heme arthrosis, uh, arthrosis. Yeah. Okay, then therapeutic drainage of blood, uh, purinate or tense effusion, cortico uh, corticosteroid injection in the absence of sepsis. Okay, contraindication to joint aspiration or injection, absolute open lesion or suspected infection of overlying skin or soft tissue, relative bleeding diathesis, thrombocytopenia, prostatic joints, synovial fluid analysis, most important to assess three Cs, cell count and differential, culture and gram stain and crystal analysis. Okay, the other parameters in the table eight. We'll see table eight, okay. So the most, uh, this is the sidebar, most important test for synovial fluid, three Cs, culture and gram stain, cell count and differential and crystal examination. Okay, so this is the table color, a normal pale yellow, non-inflammatory, it is also pale yellow, inflammatory pale yellow, septic yellow to white, hemorrhagic red to brown. Clarity, it is clear in normal, then clear, Inflammatory, opaque, septic, opaque, and purulent. Hemorrhagic, uh, sanguinous. Okay, WBC count, uh, normal if uh, less than 200. Non-inflammatory, less than 2,000. Inflammatory, greater than 2,000. Crystal-induced arthritis, often much higher than 2,000. Septic, greater than 5,000. Variable, uh, sorry, hemorrhagic, variable. Okay, PM, okay, polymorphonuclear. It's uh, less than 25%, non-inflammatory, less than 25%. In inf inflammatory condition, it is greater than 50%. Septic, greater than 75%, hemorrhagic variable. Culture and gram stain, these are negative in all condition except septic arthritis, it is positive. Okay, examples for non-inflammatory, trauma, osteoarthritis, neuropathy, hypertrophic arthropathy. Inflammatory conditions, zero positive, zero negative, and crystal arthropathy. Septic condition, S. aureus, uh, gram negative, GC, difficult to culture, may have low WBC, hemorrhagic, hemophilia, and trauma. Okay, let's see the sidebar, choosing wisely Canada. Yeah. Recommendations. Do not order ANA as a screening test in patient without the specific signs or symptoms of SLE or other connective tissue disease. Do not order an HLA B27 unless spondyloarthritis is suspected based on specific signs or symptoms. Do not repeat DEXA scan more often than every two hour, two years. Do not prescribe uh, bisphosphonate for patient at low risk of fracture. Do not perform whole body uh, bone scan scintigraphy for diagnostic screening for peripheral and axial arthritis in adult op uh, population. Do not prescribe opioids for management of chronic rheumatic disease before optimizing the use of non-opioid approaches in pain management. Okay. Do not delay or avoid palliative symptom management and advanced care planning for patients with life-limiting rheumatic disease because they are pursuing disease-directed treatment. Okay, then we have uh, septic arthritis, invasion of a joint by an infectious agent. Septic arthritis is a medical emergency. It can lead to rapid joint destruction and has 10 to 15% of mortality. Knee and hip are most commonly affected joint with knee accounting for approximately 50% of cases. Poor prognostic factor, older age, immunocompromised, delay in treatment, previously damaged joint and joint prosthesis. Pathophysiology most commonly caused by hematogenous spread of bacterial infection. Gram-positive cocci have more chances than gram-negative. Risk factors, very young or very old age, greater than 80. Portal of entry, IV drug use, hemodialysis. Recent infection with STIs. Yeah, uh, RA related to the prior joint damage and immunosuppressed state of the host type 2 diabetes. Investigation, synovial fluid analysis, WBC count with differential, crystal analysis, gram stain, and culture. Blood work, CBC and CS, that is culture and sensitivity. Endocervical, urethral, rectal, and oropharyngeal swabs. If gonococcal septic arthritis is suspected, plain x-ray to establish joint baseline and to monitor the treatment. 
treatment consider empiric IV antibiotic therapy until septic arthritis is excluded or until cultures come back to our narrow antibiotic choice. Source control and joint decompression. Okay, there is a one. Uh, yeah, there is a one side bar. Septic arthritis is a medical emergency. It leads to rapid joint destruction, and there is ten to fifteen percent risk of mortality. Then osteoarthritis of MCPs, metacarpophalangeals, can be seen in hemochromatosis or CPPD-related disease, chondrocalcinosis. Uh, anyone wants to revise this one or we just move forward? Anyone want to just uh, go through the septic arthritis? Just want to brief it or want me okay, to go I forward? I just wanted to ask this one in the example on the table, sanal fluid analysis. What is the seropositive and seropartic negative crystal arthropodies? Okay, uh, you mean examples? Yeah, I means they are the same thing or they are different conditions? They are different conditions. Uh, in previous uh, table, there was a difference of zero positive and zero negative. Page 1498. Yeah. They, they have given the table showing the differences between zero positive and zero negative rheumatic disease. Uh, page 1498. Yeah, go down. Uh, a little bit down here. Yeah. Also, like in this table, you can see the difference between zero positive and zero negative, like symmetrical, asymmetrical, with, along with the examples. Yeah, like uh, ankylosing spondylitis and erosive arthritis. They are the example of zero negative, asymmetrical are the reactive arthritis and psoriatic arthritis. And zero positive is rheumatoid arthritis, SLE, scleroderma, DMM, PMM, SS, uh, yeah, Sjogren's syndrome. So basically, zero positive, I think like you can find a specific antibody for that. And in zero negative, there's like no specific antibody. Okay, so we have uh, degenerative arthritis, osteoarthritis. Okay, definition, progressive deterioration of articular cartilage and surrounding joint structures caused by the genetic, metabolic, biochemical, and biomechanical factors with secondary components of inflammation. Classification based on etiology, primary, idiopathic, most common, unknown etiology. Secondary, post-traumatic or mechanical, post-inflammatory, example from rheumatoid arthritis, post-infectious, heritable disorders, scoliosis, endocrine disorders, acromegaly, hyperthyroidism, and hypothyroidism. Okay, metabolic disorders, gout, pseudogout, hemochromatosis, Wilson's disease, on chronosis, neuropathic, charcot joint, atypical joint trauma due to peripheral neuropathy, di diabetes, syphilis, AVN, and other congenital malformations. Patho uh, pathophysiology, the process appears to be initiated by abnormalities in biomechanical forces or less often in cartilage. Elevated production of pro-inflammatory cytokines is important in OA progression, tissue catabolism, dirt and repair. Contributing factor mechanisms unknown genetics alignment bow legged knock knee uh, joint deformity hip dysplasia joint injury meniscal or ligament tear uh, obesity environmental mechanical loading age and gender considered to be systemic musculoskeletal disorder rather than a focal disorder of synovial joints epidemiology most common arthropathy accounts for seventy five percent of all arthritis. Increased prevalence with increase, increasing age, 35% of 30 years, 85% of 80 years. Risk factors, genetic predisposition, advanced age, obesity for knee and hand osteoarthritis, female and trauma. Sign and symptoms of osteoarthritis, joint line tenderness, stress pain plus joint effusion, bony enlargement at affected joint, mal malalignment, deformity, Angulation, limited uh, range of motion, crepitus on passive range of motion, inflammation, mild if present, periarticular muscle atrophy. 
symptoms joint pain with motion relief with rest short duration of stiffness less than half hour after immobility called gelling joint instability buckling often due to ligamentous instability joint locking due to joint mouse bone or cartilage fragment loss of function meniscal tear or other internal derangement insidious onset of pain localized to the affected joints fatigue poor sleep impact on mood okay joint involvement generalized uh, osteoarthritis three plus joint groups that means could be more than joint yeah more than three joint groups Asymmetric knees usually affected bilaterally, hand, DIB, habitants, node. Osteophytes and enlargement of joints. Uh, post, uh, yeah. PIP, proximal interphalangeals, they have a uh, Bocart's node. CMC, usually thumb scoring, uh, squaring, yeah. First MCP, other MCPs are usually spear. Hip, usually present as a groin pain or dull or sharp pain in the thoracic area. Internal rotation and abduction are lost first. The pain can radiate uh, to the anterior thigh but generally does not go below the knee. Knee, initial narrowing of one compartment, medial more common than lateral, seen on standing extra, often patellar femoral joint involved. Foot, common in first uh, MTP and midfoot. Lumbar spine, very common, especially L4, L5, L5, and S1. Degeneration of intervertebral disc and facet joints. Reactive bone growth can contribute to neurological impingements, sciatica, neurogenic claudication, or spondylolisthesis, forward or backward movement of one vertebra over another. Cervical spine, commonly present with neck pain that radiates to scapula, especially in the mid-lower cervical area, C5 and C6. Investigation, blood work, normal CBC, ASR and CRP, negative rheumatoid factor and ANA. Radiology, full hallmark findings, C sidebar, okay. Synovial fluid, no uh, non-inflammatory. Treatment, Presently, no treatment alters the natural history of osteoarthritis prevention, prevent injury, weight management, physical activity, maintenance of the muscle strength, non-pharmacological therapy, weight loss if overweight, exercise more effective if supervised, often by physiotherapist or in a class setting. Tai Chi is strongly recommended for hip and knee osteoarthritis. Self-efficacy and self-management Programs, goal setting, positive thinking, education on the disease, thermal intervention, heat or cold, occupational therapy, aid, splints, cane, walker, bracing. Pharmacological therapy, uh, stepped approach to therapy that is local to systemic therapy. Local therapy, topical NSAIDs, topical capsaicin, knee and hand osteoarthritis, injections, intraarticular glucocorticoids, knee and uh, hip osteoarthritis. Okay, systemic therapy, acetaminophen, oral NSAIDs, centrally acting agent, duloxetine. The following are not recommended based on lack of high quality evidence, opioids and medical cannabinoids for pain, hyaluronates, platelet-rich plasma, stem cell injections, chondroitin and glucosamine. Surgical treatment, total or partial joint replacement. Joint debridement not shown to be effective, osteotomy, uh, osteotomy and fusion. Okay, let's see all the sidebars. Okay, so this is a picture showing the affected area in osteoarthritis. Hand, distal interphalangeal joints, proximal interphalangeal joints and first carpometacarpal. Yeah, hip, knee, first MTP, uh, lumbar spine, L5, L4, L5, L5, and S1. Cervical spine, uncommon areas, ankle, shoulder, elbow, MCP, and rest of the wrist. Okay, so this is the picture of thumb scoring, habardens, and uh, number two is the habardens note, like just behind the nail is the habardens, and uh, the other one is uh, Bocard's. Like they mentioned that one is in the interphalangeal, uh, distal interphalangeal joint and other one is the proximal interphalangeal joint. So yeah, differential diagnosis of elevated ESR, systemic inflammatory disease, localized inflammatory disease, malignancy, trauma, infection, tissue injury and ischemia.
the radiographic hallmark of osteoarthritis joint space narrowing subchondral sclerosis subchondral cyst osteophytes okay then we have zero positive rheumatic disease diagnosis versus classification in rheumatology diagnostic criteria selected for sensitivity as opposed to specificity this may misdiagnose some cases Classification criteria are developed for specificity, so well-defined cases can be studied in the clinical trials. Modern classification criteria are more sensitive and specific for diagnostic use in studies of earlier disease. Seropositive arthropathies are characterized by the presence of serological marker such as positive rheumatoid factor and ANA. Okay, a small subset of vasculitis, that is small vessel anchor-associated vasculitis, have, has a measurable sero serological component, but they are often considered a separate entity for seropositive disease by experts. Okay, autoantibodies and their prevalence in rheumatic disease. Rheumatoid factor uh, disease, RA 80%, SS 50%, SLE 20%. Okay, healthy controls, 5 to 25 percent. But uh, when you're going to go about the questions, they are just uh, positive in RA disease. Others, they won't be. Okay, commands, uh, serological hallmark of rheumatoid arthritis, autoantibodies directed against FC domain of IgG. Sensitive in rheumatoid arthritis uh, is, can be negative early in the disease course. RF positive is associated with more aggressive joint disease and extra articular, extra articular features, example nodules. Okay, may be present in ANA positive disease, often in low titer. Non-specific may be present in infective uh, endocarditis, TB, hepatitis C, silicosis, and sarcoidosis. Okay, then we have anti-CCP. RA 80%, specific for RA 95, uh, 94 to 98%, may be useful in early uh, disease and to predict the persistent and erosive, yeah, persistent and erosive uh, disease can occur before clinical disease becomes apparent. Then ANA is the SLE in SLE a 98%. Uh, mixed connective tissue disease, 100%. SS, uh, Sjogren syndrome, 40 to 70%. Crest, uh, 60 to 80%. Often seen in other connective tissue diseases. High titers, 1 is to 640. That is uh, less than 5%. Low titer, 1 is to 40, up to 30%. Prevalence of a non-disease related ANA rises with age. Antibody against... Nuclear components, DNA, RNA, histones, and centromere. Sensitive but not specific for SLE. Given high positive, pos uh, given highest probability of uh, connective tissue disease. Anti-DNA, uh, yeah, double-stranded DNA, it is positive in SLE, 50 to 70%. Health control, 0%. Specific for SLE, 95%. Levels correlate with the disease activity, that is SLE flare. Okay, anti-SIM, SLE, uh, yeah, anti-SIM, SM, yeah. SLE less than 30%, health control, 0%. Specific but not sensitive for SLE does not correlate with SLE disease activity. If positive, will remain positive through the disease course. Then anti rho SSA, SS 40 to 95%, SSC 21%, SLE 32%, rheumatoid arthritis 15%, health risk that is 0.5%. Seen in Chagrin syndrome, also seen in sub uh, acute cutaneous SLE, may be the only antibody present in ANA negative SLE. Presence in pregnancy increases risk of having a child with neonatal congenital heart block. Connective tissue disorders. I think this topic is for tomorrow, right? So, okay, then uh, if this is for tomorrow, then let's let's move on to the question part.